Hey, and welcome to Gambate Kurasai, which is my Japanese uh, YouTube channel, uh, where I share my, share my experience about uh, being in Japan, studying in Japan, and hopefully this will make the learning process about Japan and the Japanese language a little bit easier for people interested. Uh, so I, I hope also I can be able to maintain my own Japanese skills this way. And for those of you who haven't watched my previous videos, I studied last year at Hiroshima University of Economics uh, in Japanese, Hiroshima Keisai Daigaku. Uh, so today I will uh, take the time to give my recommendation about Hiroshima and Hiroshima University of Economics because I was very satisfied about being there. I had an amazing time. And in my opinion, Hiroshima is one of the most underrated cities in Japan, uh, maybe even Asia, because when, 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 when people hear the word Hiroshima, they think about the nuclear bombing, uh, radiation, uh, and that is a shame because of course it's perfectly safe to be there. And the city has so many things to offer that, and so many aspects of the city that normally people won't hear about. So today I will give a guided tour using Google Maps uh, Street View and um, tell you a little bit about uh, studying in Japan and, and the University of uh, Economics in Hiroshima. So myself, I am from Denmark. I'm currently living in Brussels. I'm working on a few projects here, so welcome to Belgium. And I'm sure all of you know where Japan is on the map. Um, you have Tokyo here, you have Osaka here, Kyoto here, and Hiroshima is situated out here on the west in Hiroshima Prefecture. Um, so what makes Hiroshima so unique is, uh, first of all, it's a city of peace. And you can definitely feel this when you're here. Uh, because if you go to Osaka, which is a very corporate city, there's a lot of big Japanese business de businesses there. You see a lot of rush. There's, uh, people are very hectic. Uh, the work culture in Japan is also very hectic. And same with Tokyo. There's so many people. Uh, but Hiroshima is very peaceful. And... Also, Hiroshima is, is, situ is, is surrounded by beautiful mountains, which adds to this theme of, of being peaceful. Um, so I will show you uh, where I lived, where uh, I studied. I, um, <clears throat> let me show you here. If it will please load, there it is. So I, I, I lived here in a small city, a small suburb called Gion, uh, actually right here. And the university is, is uh, on the mountainside here, so I will have a small walk up here every morning. So if you are considering studying at Hiroshima University of Economics, you will have a great walk every morning, great exercise, so you are fresh in your mind and ready to learn a lot of Japanese. This uh, suburb is a little bit outside the city, uh, which is it's not a problem because you have everything here, basically. You have a big mall here. Uh, with a lot of stores, you have a lot of great restaurants in the area where it's actually very cheap. Sometimes it's it's more expensive to cook uh, dinner at home, so you eat out for um, for a few dollars actually. For you can have a very 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 nice meal for five to five to six dollars actually. Um, so I will start out by showing you here the entrance to the university. Let's see what we get. Yes. So as you can see, the mountains in the background, it's very beautiful. You have, you can take the bus here every morning or you can, you can decide to walk up. The weather is mostly sunny. Uh, very nice weather here. Uh, last year, we were able to barbecue until um, the end of November, actually, in shorts and t-shirts. So you have very nice seasons here. And you see Hiroshima, University of Economics. So the surroundings here is very beautiful. And I think by the time the Google car was here, it must have been autumn because you can see the colors are, uh, are slightly turning yellow and orange. So the most beautiful seasons here are uh, spring, where everything is blossoming, and autumn, where everything turns orange and, uh, and, uh, and yellow. So let's see if we can move up here. Yes, and you can see the surroundings here is, is very beautiful. And the university has new buildings it's very modern and of course uh, a lot of the advanced in technology so you have basically everything here you need great great internet connection as well all of this and what is most important actually and uh, you will very you will really appreciate this if you're here uh, let me see if i can go down here uh, 
da, da, da. you have uh, an office of international exchange uh, up here and uh, no it's down here uh, but the most important thing about uh, your stay there is that I have I have never in my life experienced such hospitality as I did in Japan and especially here at this university because you have a number of people very much dedicated to making your stay as great as possible you have great teachers, you have uh, people in the administration, you have some very nice uh, Japanese students as well, and they do everything they can to make you feel at home. Um, so they teach you a lot about the Japanese culture, a lot about the Japanese language. Uh, so in this way, you will have, uh, you will be able to maximize your stay there. Because you, the, more, the more you know about the Japanese language, the more you know about the culture there, the more aware you are about how different things are, because regardless of uh, anything, the, the, your stay there will be, there's so many things that will be very much different. Uh, so by being aware of that, you will be able to, to manage your expectations, be adaptable and flexible, and avoid and eliminate all of these uh, things that are different and that might annoy you there. Uh, so if you're not uh, adaptable, uh, you might you might not be uh, might not have such a great stay there, so it's your own it's your own responsible responsibility to to uh, to be flexible here. Uh, but you have a lot of people uh, trying to help you with this, um, because uh, if you're not aware, you might end up having a culture shock, and um, which would be a shame. Uh, other than that, uh, the university here has um, 7-Eleven which we uh, we used a lot and at the 7-eleven you uh, you also have a, a hairdresser you have uh, a big cafeteria there and as you can see here oh, we are now at the 7-eleven this is the view you will have most of the time and isn't that just amazing you see here the mountains in the background normally it's always sunny here uh, beautiful weather and it's just wow. Uh, so after a day of, of uh, studying hard, uh, you might be tired, you see this, then everything is okay. Uh, and a thing that uh, we appreciated a lot and uh, was very nice, I was very surprised ab about this, the university also has uh, amazing um, fitness and sports equipment. Uh, very great sports facilities here. Uh, so if you are not tired and willing to walk up even further of the mountain, uh, you can see here you have everything. A, this is uh, only for sports. So in here you will find great fitness equipment, uh, everything from ninja training to whatever. And even further up the, the mountain you will have, um, you'll have a big uh, baseball field. So the Japanese, they like baseball. Uh, and you can see here great facilities and even better view up here so if you are considering studying in Japan I would definitely recommend going to Hiroshima University of Economics both because the university uh, takes so so good care of, of their students there but also because of the city has so many things to offer so Hiroshima is um, very famous for uh, for the okonomiyaki and uh, the food in general and if you have uh, questions about the city and want to research a little bit I can suggest to you going to the webpage that's called Get Hiroshima you will see all of the things that you can from attractions to nightlife um, the nightlife there is good we were able to go out uh, a lot of times uh, the Japanese businessmen they tend to go out to drink after work as well so there's many bars there's a lot of shopping uh, there's a lot of uh, fun activities you can do there and and the best thing about it is the food uh, it's really really amazing so if you want to check out and see if you are able to go there you might uh, see if your university features in the nipes um, let me see if that is spelled correctly uh, I studied at uh, University of Southern Denmark uh, and they feature here as well let me see whoops yeah here. 
So if you want to check it out, call nipes.org, uh, and you can see here, uh, from if you're a Dane, uh, the University of Southern Denmark features here. Um, and there's a lot of uh, information you can find here as well, also on uh, the Hiroshima University of Economics webpage. Um, they have an English version as well, So and you can see pictures from, from last year here. And as you can see, they even throw us a Christmas party, which was uh, just cra it was so nice. Uh, so they go through great lengths to uh, to make your stay there uh, as comfortable uh, as possible. So I would I can really really recommend this place. Um, and let's see here. Yes, you find here the matric matriculation ceremony. Now that it's me and a few guys from Poland. So there's a big mix of, of, of where the students are coming from. We were three guys from Denmark, uh, a few guys from Poland. Uh, so you see here there's a, people from Singapore, from Taiwan, uh, Germany, uh, all over the place actually. So it will definitely be a great experience, experience to go there. I can, uh, especially because people, or the, uh, the employees and the teachers, uh, the international uh, office will take so good care of you. Um, so let me know if you have any questions about about the university or uh, Hiroshima uh, as a city. I will be more than happy to to try and answer your question. So thank you for watching and uh, Gambate Kurasai.